oh, it feels amazing. Um, you know, it, it was tough, uh, you know, seeing the guys going to battle every day, uh, getting in shape and, you know, uh, working together. Uh, so it's, you know, it was tough to watch that. Um, you know, obviously I wanted to be here super bad through the whole camp, so I'm really glad that, that it got done uh, now than, rather than later. So. I'm really excited to be here right now. Your agent said over the weekend that things got pretty heated between himself and Jim. Uh, some four-letter words may have been used, and you know I'm sure that Ben kept you apprised of all of that. Did you worry at one point that you might not make it for the start of the year? Um, you know, I tried not to read into that. Um, you know, personally, I try to take everything a day at a time, and um, you know, obviously that that can get stressful if you know he fills me in. But that's why you hire an agent. Uh, you let them, them them do the dirty work. So, um, you know, I try not to worry. I take it a day at a time, and um, you know, I was I try to keep my hopes up and uh, you know just believe that that we'd get a deal done before the season. What made this the right deal for you, and and was it timing? Like, I mean, were you just kind of getting lancy that you wanted to get something done? Yeah, I mean, um, I think we all agreed that you know camp would be good for me. You know, obviously last year's camp. You know, coming off a back injury, I uh, got off to a slow start, so we thought, you know, camp is really important. Um, and then obviously, um, you know, they were, they were kind of stuck on a number. We were kind of stuck on a number, and you know, that's why you have, you have an agent in negotiations. Um, they, they worked to, to get the deal done, and you know, I'm glad that uh, we figured something out. First, first contract, um, new contract uh, after your initial one. I'm sure you didn't know exactly what to expect. Was the whole experience sort of emotionally and mentally what you thought it would be, or was it tougher than what you thought it would be? Yeah, I mean, um, you, you kind of just go through the whole summer. I wasn't really too worried about it. Um, I was, you know, I believed that I'd be here, um, you know, right at the start of camp. So it's kind of shocking I wasn't. But you know, obviously you have to uh, take a day at a time and prepare for you know whenever that contract gets signed and and be ready to go once you come. So, um, you know, I just I try not to stress too much about it. They've always said that they view you as a core player. They always said that they wanted to get you on a long-term deal. Yet here you are back on a, on a bridge deal. Do you, what do you take out of that? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously we signed a ton of tremendous players in the offseason. Um, you know, just, you know, obviously a long-term deal uh, didn't work out. So that's when you got to turn to a short-term deal. and and do something like that, but um, you know I love Vancouver. Um, my plan isn't to you know just play three years and get out of here. My plan is to play here as long as I can. Um, you know I love the city, I love the fans, I love the organization. So um, you know just take it year by year, and then um, hopefully you can sign a longer one after this. You don't read anything into their long-term commitment. With that? No, it's only a three-year deal. No, um, I don't think there's you know anything to worry about. Um, and. Like I said, take it year by year. As much as you wanted to be here, was it good for you to be around your dad? Yeah. Oh, again, I got chills when he said that, but yeah, it was, um, uh, yeah, it meant a lot. Um, obviously, that was that was a, a tough couple months there. Um, sorry. Um, even just spending that extra week, um, you know, you just started eating this past week and um, came really alert and, and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously he, he still has you know, some delirium and hallucinations and stuff. But, um, yeah, that was, uh, that meant a lot to me to be there. And, you know, that's kind of kind of what kept me sane and going through this whole process, just being able to go see him each and every day and be there to, to support him. And, um, you know, just kind of seeing him these last couple of days, it really um, kind of, let me relax a bit to see how well he's doing and how, how well he's coming along. So, um, you know, on that side of things, it was really nice. How is he? Are you comfortable yeah. giving us an update? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, it's a tough four weeks. He's in the ICU for four weeks, and then he got, he's at this uh, rehabilitation hospital. Um, you know, he's made steady steps there. Got his trach out. Um, that's fully out. He's breathing on his own and started to eat last week, like I said. So, um, you know, he's getting to the point where he's, they're going to move to him to another transitional care place and um, you know I think it's just take it step at a time and once he gets there you know we're, we're allowed to start bringing him to his other appointments you know obviously to do with his cancer and all that so um, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's all good stuff so that's why 
I keep mentioning day at a time because that's what I've been doing for the past two months. Brock, what uh, have you been doing in the way of skating? We know that you went to UND there for a day or two, but as other pros have kind of left to go to camps, what yeah. have you been doing to, to skate? <clears throat> yeah, so my agent has a you know a really good uh, their agency holds a nice camp with all the pros and all the, all the wild guys there. And so that that's uh, kind of what I did that week, and then you know obviously everyone kind of takes off. So went up to UND for a little bit there, and then. Uh, Came home and there's still you know, some minor league guys and there's a pretty good skate where I train so I uh, skated there and um, skated with my skills coach too. So I mean, you miss a training camp in Victoria, but I mean, do you feel like you're here, yeah, you're gonna yeah. be able to hit the ground running. I, yeah, I mean, um, I push myself as hard as like you can push yourself. Uh, you know, obviously with not being at Coach Green's practices, so um, you know I feel pretty good after that first practice. And um, I think just take it day at a time, work my tail off and keep getting back in shape. You talk about the injuries you faced in the past, how past, how important was this summer for you in terms of training and not having to deal with as much of that? Yeah, it was tremendous. Um, last summer, obviously, I didn't skate till you know, after July 4th, and, you know, that that's a long time. Um, this year, I got to stay, skate at the start of June, so uh, it makes a huge difference just getting that ice time and working off with all the different, uh, you know, my skills coach, skating coach, and skating with everyone else there, so. Um, it was a huge summer of training, and I feel really good right now. Lots of new faces out there since the uh, end of last season. What did you think of the new guys today? Um, yeah, it was, I, I didn't see, I don't think I saw everyone, but, um, you know, it, it's a different feel out there, but it's a, it's a really good feel, and, you know, everyone's working their tail off, as, as I saw. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm just super stoked to be back and, and get going with the guys. What's your excitement level to get a second full season with Elias? Now that he knows the league and he seems motivated, he's off to a decent start here. Like, I know what's capable, what's possible, do you think, for, for you two guys? Yeah, um, you know, I think we both were you know, battling a few different injuries last year and didn't play together right away. So, But, you know, as the year went on, I think we gained chemistry. And, um, you know, I've seen him and Furl's uh, playing together and, and showing some good chemistry there. So, um, you know, I'm excited if uh, I get that chance with them. And, um, you know, with Petey, uh, I think this guy's this guy's the limit for him. So, um, you know, I think he's uh, you know he has a mindset that uh, he wants to be one of the best players in the NHL, and uh, you know he works his tail off. So, I'm excited. Bo said you uh, the guys were thrilled. You know, obviously when you walked in the room, you know, from your perspective, what was it like for you, given you know everything that's going on the last few weeks? Yeah, uh, everyone's been so supportive. Uh, you know, no one. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get really a bad feel by anyone. So. Um, you know, I came back, uh, you know, giving everyone hugs and, and stuff. So I think uh, we're all just excited that you know everyone's here and uh, we can start to you know go after after our goals this year. So just was it a release? You know, when you walked in the room? Yeah. Um, you know, I think just getting to the rink and I'm going around saying hi to everyone, seeing everyone again. Uh, it's just nice to you know, get that off off your chest and you know, get back to skating and, and focusing on what's uh, what we're doing here. What is the hardest part, especially after guys came back to camp? Like, what is the hardest part of not being here? Um, I mean, just obviously, just seeing the guys uh, start camp together and, and go out there and practice. And you know, I, I think it's it's a blast and it's you know team bonding and stuff like that. The the first weekend, because uh, obviously coaches' practices aren't easy, so um, it, it kind of sucked. But um, you know, I'm glad it, it got done right after the weekend. What's your sense when you talk about the new players that are here? When you sit and watch the summer and the trade for JT Miller and then the team is active as it was in the free agency, you know, it's been a couple of tough years, obviously, your first few years here and wins and losses. Like, do you get a sense that <coughs> the stakes have kind of been raised for this group now? Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, I mean, you see what, who they brought in and, you know, the type of work ethics that they all bring and you know, the type of hockey they play. So, um, you know, I think it'll just push us younger guys to continue to work as hard as we can and continue to build this um, group of guys that we have here and um, chase, that, chase that goal of playoffs. And, and I think it's going to be a fun, fun year and uh, uh, I think we're all going to have fun too.